Okay, in this video we're going to discuss converting one character into another character within an input file. And we're going to discuss this in the context of changing the delimiter between columns within your input file. So to remind ourselves of what our current delimiter is in, in our file, let's use the head command to take a look at the first two rows in our bankmarketing.csv file. And we can see that the current delimiter is a semicolon. And of course, programming languages would be able to uh, use semicolon as a delimiter and still process the file correctly, but perhaps we need the file to be tab delimited or comma delimited for our purposes, and so it's really helpful to, to be able to convert this one character semicolon into a tab or a comma very quickly and efficiently. So let's look at a few ways that we can do that. One way to do it is with a tr command, the translate command, to convert one character, in this case our semicolon, into another character like a tab, to make a tab delimited file. With the, and our input file is piped, uh, directed in. Now the tr command will by default print to standard out or the screen, and so we need to redirect the output to uh, an output file. We can call it temp.csv, but I really don't want another file to be processing. So let's use a command that we've already learned, mv move, to rename this file, temp.csv, back to our original file name, bankmarketing.csv. And with this command, we'll be able to translate the semicolon into tab to create a tab delimited file. So once that's run, let's look at the head command again. And you can see that the semicolons have been converted into tabs. So great. So let's look at another way that we can do this uh, to convert. Let's say that instead of a tab delimited file, we need a uh, comma separated file. And so to do that, we could use a sed command. And with the translate command, it was kind of um, frustrating to have to write it to an output file and then rename the output file. But sed has a minus i <clears throat> for in-place editing. And so you can use minus i and then minus e uh, to do your substitution command. Now, for most characters, you don't have to add this next character in the command. But if, if your substitution is going to include a backslashed character like backslash t for tabs or backslash n for new lines, then you need to use uh, bash's string symbol dollar sign to enable using backslash characters in the substitution. So we're going to convert the tab characters into commas and do that globally with the G argument uh, across each line and again with our bank marketing input file. And with this set command, we're able to do in-place editing to convert the tabs into commas. So we use the head command to see that we've converted all of the tab delimited file into a comma delimited file. So let's look at one more way that we can uh, convert these characters and delimiters between the fields with a Perl command, which is very similar to the sed command. So to do so, you can say Perl, and again, we want to do in-place editing with minus i, and then for Perl, you can use minus p and minus e to say, you know, put a for loop to process all of the rows and e to execute this command, and then again, we're going to do a substitution. So for Perl, let's say it's currently comma separated, let's say that we want it to be uh, space separated. So you can add a space and then say globally again and then bankmarketing.csv. After you hit enter we can use the head command and see that now it's uh, space delimited. And so that's three different ways to translate one character into another character in the context of changing the delimiter between columns in your input files. You can use the tr command said command or Perl to do so. Thanks for watching.